Hello everyone. To those who are following the Romero Muller motor replication attempts by us hopelessly devoted <laughs> to this OU concept. Um, here is my Muller motor or replica of the Romero motor. I've just started it up and it's running at only a few hundred RPM. Um, and over here I have my control system and I'm just going to use, just going to now basically dial in the timing and bring the motor up to speed. And you should hear it run up. Okay, this is the control unit. This display here tells me the number of pulses per trigger event and the timing. I'll advance the timing now. And reduce the pulse count. Here is slowly picking up. What I'm doing is reducing the number of pulses per trigger event. This motor is running on one coil. This is the drive coil, and this is the generator coil. So I'm basically only talking to this coil pair. I'll just take it to about 1200 RPM. That'll be fine for our demonstration. By controlling the pulses and the time duration, I'm able to actually control uh, the efficiency of the motor. At the moment, the motor is probably pulling about 120 milliamps. As we bring it up to speed, we'll reduce the current. Now it's about 100 milliamps. About 60 milliamps. The time is now top dead center. You'll see the waveform on the pro over the back over there. As I said, we're only using one drive coil and one generator coil. I have the generator coil wired to a chopper transistor or a FET that will basically engage a short socket load. Back on the control, we will now engage that. Here you can now see on the oscilloscope So what I'm doing is shorting out the generator coil One positive, uh, one positive pathway rectified. It's off. That's on. So you can hear the motor RPM. 
of shoulder. Let's turn on the multimeter. And I'm having that voltage redirected to the capacitors. And the capacitors have taken the high EMF and charged up to 330 volts. So you can see that. Just put the multimeter on the It's current consumption of the drive coil at this time is around about 50 milliamps. And RPM is probably around about 1200 RPM. I know this because I know what the motor does given current consumption and, and and you can see I'll disconnect the if I disconnect the transistor by shorting out the coils, you can see the sine wave on the oscilloscope. And also you can hear it slightly speed up. So there is a load on the system. See my bias and magnets, good rectifier. I have two 12 volt batteries for the series, so basic, so basically that means it's running on 12, 24 volts. This is the battery that uh, runs the control system. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm not using the uh, single trigger transistor. I'm using the control, the control.
Anyway, there is some advantage to shorting out the coils. Um, using that power collected is the next step. Anyway, that's it for now.